Last night's shocking attack on sitting congressman and current Republican gubernatorial candidate Lee Zeldin did not stop him from getting back out on the campaign trail today as the race for governor gets another push. And good evening, everyone. I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. Channel 2's Ron Plants has more from the candidate himself and his party chairman as Governor Hochul's campaign stays relatively quiet. A strange encounter for the congressman turned candidate happened about 8 o'clock last night in suburban Rochester as a man later identified as 43-year-old David Jacobonis of Fairport, New York, jumped up on the makeshift stage as Zeldin was speaking and then approached him with an apparent plastic personal defense tool on a keychain which appeared to have two sharp points. As the man raises a fist with a device towards Zeldin's face, Zeldin grabs his arm and then other campaign staffers and even Lieutenant Governor candidate and retired New York City Police Deputy Inspector Allison Esposito all grab the man who then topples to the ground with Zeldin. After Jacobonis was taken into custody, Zeldin resumed his speech last night. Today, he was right back out campaigning in Syracuse and elsewhere. There was no doubt that when we woke up this morning, we were going to continue today as planned, but maybe with a little more security. No details on that security, even as some GOP leaders had requested state police assign troopers to watch over Zeldin. There have been some questions raised about recent postings from Governor Kathy Hochul's campaign mentioning and lampooning Zeldin's summer tour of New York as a candidate. Well, today, the GOP state chairman went right there, saying that just fired things up. And they were trying to walk it back last night. They don't get to walk this back. Kathy Hochul owes people a hell of a lot more than an apology. She, she owns part of this. That's Today, a Hochul campaign spokesperson telling the me they Moses did not have any response beyond that tweet message from the governor last night that she was relieved to hear Congressman Zeldin was not injured and that a suspect was in custody. Also saying she condemns the attack in the strongest possible terms and that it has no place in New York. Now, some people have questioned if federal charges could be filed here since Zeldin is still a sitting member of Congress. Well, the Western New York U.S. Attorney's Office said no comment. Now, the issue of the release of the suspect on his own recognizance came up as a political talking point today. Michael Wooten's going to take a deeper dive into that controversial subject of state bail policies during the upcoming Channel 2 Town Hall at 530. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.